Hey AD, my name is Drew Dorsey and welcome to my home. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> I wanted to do this video because I've, it's going on like year three now that I've lived here and I meant to do an apartment tour when I first moved in because when I when I was moving I loved watching people's apartment tours and just like they're looking at apartments before they actually moved in videos that actually really helped me so I was like let me make this video three years later uh, <laughs> my channel is all about getting to hang out with you guys more you guys get to know me more and what better way to do that than to invite you over so come on in get comfortable It's funny, whenever people come over, I'm always like, uh, do you want are you ready for the shortest tour of your life? Because I live in a one bedroom apartment and while I personally find it like the perfect amount of space for me, it's just funny the idea of giving a tour where it's like basically like three rooms. <laughs> but the kitchen, we're gonna count as a separate room. So this is my kitchen. And what I really like about this kitchen and just the apartment in general is that all of the fixtures and just the way it looks is very modern. That's my style. I like modern, obviously. I don't know if I want a house one day, to be honest, because I'm afraid of getting murdered. Murder is bad. But if I had a house one day, it would probably be modern or like mixed in with like an Asian style. I like those, those things coupled together. If you know me, if you've been probably following me on Instagram for a long time, you know that I was not someone who cooked. Uh, <laughs> I was a post-made queen, um, but having this kitchen has been Made me cook more. I definitely cook. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's a sign. What sign? I think you're lying. I think you're lying. <sighs> anyway, um, I love this kitchen. It's like the perfect amount of space for me. It has plenty of storage space for the stuff, for me to put my dishes in, my glasses, and I put little touches. I really like it's pretty simple to be honest. I'll just put a few little plant accents. I always go every two weeks to Trader Joe's and I go and I get my roses. These are the only real plants in my apartment. You'll see I have a lot of plants in my apartment but most of them are from Pottery Barn. So the roses are the um, uh, my, my testament to my green thumb in my partial one if I have one. I'm a huge Hot Ones fan. It's my dream to one day uh, when I am famous to do an interview, do a press run and stop by Hot Ones. Um, and so I have, I think I bought the ones from season 11, not this one, that was from Trader Joe's, but the rest of them, I think it was from season 11. I bought all the hot sauces. Do I actually use them? Absolutely not, because I want to keep my taste buds intact and the nerve endings in my tongue. And then this little guy hanging on my soap dispenser, his name is Mitch. This sparkly thing under my uh, little centerpiece here, they're actually play settings like chargers and I love those. I got those years ago at DragCon one year and I don't actually use them as chargers. I just stack them all up and put them under there because I just love the sparkles. This, I, we have to talk about this, okay? Probably, arguably the most important piece of art or of anything that I have in my apartment. So this is, uh, as you can see, it, this, it looks like Beyonce's name is just scribbled on a piece of paper. And like, obviously pe 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 peaches, don't, don't you pee on the rug. So this, am I gonna get you in trouble? I don't want to get you in trouble because you didn't do anything wrong by taking this, but I just want just to get. So he was on a job with Beyonce, so it's like you, you know. So I don't even wanna. But shout out, I'll, I'll bleep your name, but like just you know, I love you for this. So he was working with her. I forgot exactly what he was doing, but when she was recording. I want to say it was the Lemonade album and she was in the recording studio and this piece of paper on the other side of it is like a set list um, of the different songs and so one day she was just for whatever reason like practicing her signature so she wrote it a whole bunch of times and it was just scraps left in there they were just gonna throw it away and so I knew that I was a huge Michael Jackson fan and I used to he worked at Clever that's how I met um, he was on the production side he took these 
and he put them in a, an envelope and he brought them to work for me and he said, Drew, I have a gift for you. And I have had them framed ever since and that was years ago. So these are Beyonce's actual signatures that she actually scribed on set lists. There's set lists on the other side. This is so iconic. And, and whenever I tell people the story, they're like, you could literally sell that for so much money. And I'm like, absolutely not. Like this is priceless to me. And then I want to bring you guys over to my refrigerator because I want to point out the little magnets that I have. You can see I'm, I'm gathering up a lot of like pictures and stuff that I want to hang up. And before they were all just tag teaming on one magnet. So I'm happy that I've collected more over time. This reminds me of childhood, you know, like hanging up pictures and memories or little notes and stuff. This this is a, uh, a note playboy they when they first had reached out to me they sent me a shirt it's one of their like famous covers with this black model and she has a fro and um, they were just saying like girl you're gonna love this I love you so much and hope you can work together soon shout out to Morgan I was with Morgan work there um, she said I pulled something extra and spicy for you and I thought you kind of look like this cover from the 70s so I said decided you needed that too so nice and I thought that was so dope like who am I that playboy sends me stuff and sends like a personal note like that so it made me feel very cool okay if you insist I'll be an icon just like more stuff you see some familiar faces the clever girlies some friends and this one i got in punta cana in the dominican republic that's when i did sports illustrated and of course i had to get a a, a magnet with some waves and titties This is where uh, the magic happens. This is where I paint my face, uh, where I where I shape my eyebrows, where I tweeze my chin hairs. Overshare. I love this. It's probably uh, one of my favorite parts of the house. And again, I call my apartment my house. Let me know in the comment section if you do that as well. I feel like most people do that. I love this because I always wanted peaches. This dog. I always wanted like an old Hollywood starlet dressing room type situation and this vanity really makes me feel that way. And I found the, this is from Impressions, uh, which was so heavy. If you ever get anything, a mirror this big delivered from Impressions, holy cow. It's like you have a human body in the box. The chair, I'm so obsessed with this chair and it like I went back and forth between this and just getting a little stool, but I am so obsessed with this chair. It just makes me feel like a queen, you know? And I always, because it is white or cream, I always cover it when I'm at, so I like actually never sit in it like I'm sitting in it right now, just like raw. Too much, okay, there's too much. There's gotta be a better way to say that, but I always put like a, a blanket over or something, especially when I'm doing my makeup, because you just, you, yeah, uh, an eyeliner can go awry, you know? I have my Barbie that looks like me, that if you've seen my Barbie video, you should go check it out. I made myself into a Barbie because I found this Barbie and I realized that Mattel owes me a check because why she look like me? She looks exactly like me, uh, which I love. <laughs> what I also love about this is that you can adjust just how bright you want the lights to go. There you go. This is a way that you can see the brightness. So like this is at its brightest. It's like literally, I don't know why anybody would need to see their pores in, in such HD, but I usually dim it to a cool, you know, non-blinding temperature when I'm doing my, my face. This is also a great place to do Zoom calls or if you're FaceTiming somebody special and you wanna look really good because the lighting is impeccable. <laughs> also a very good place for selfies and very fun if you have friends over and you're like getting ready to go out together like this mirror. This mirror is a fan favorite. And then I also, you guys probably caught glimpses of my vision board right here. If you put your vision board somewhere where you'll see it every single day, like you're more likely to like really work toward those goals. So we love that. I'm not gonna, it's private. Unless you guys want me to do like a whole video on that, I can break it down. <laughs> This is my masterpiece. I love this room. It's the, the focal point when you walk into my apartment, what you see, and I, it just makes me so happy. I love the colors, I love the patterns. It wasn't intentional, but I found out 
when I was decorating this space that I was very heavily influenced by Art Deco and I didn't, I, what, Art Deco wasn't even the intention when I was decorating it, but the velvets mixed with the patterns and the metals and gold, um, it's very Art Deco and I love it in here. I feel like with some people's brains, they might be like, oh my God, like that's, it's a lot going on, but for me, this, this makes me calm, like this brings me peace. It's just, it's chaotic and fun and whimsical, which, which is very much so like I am, but I need the elephant in the room. There's four of me now. <laughs> I didn't even notice. So, um, these, these are me, <laughs> and I know uh, to a naked eye, it's like, it looks like I'm full of myself and that I am very vain and uh, um, a narcissist. Those are all false. Uh, so, why do I have pictures of myself on the wall? First of all, why not? Um, <laughs> but these were pictures, they were the first pictures that I took when I was first signed to my modeling agency. Um, they had me take these photos to build my portfolio. And then when I look at them, I'm just, I'm so proud of myself because I never thought that modeling would be part of my journey. Like that was, no, because if you guys have, probably on Instagram because my YouTube hasn't been around that long, but um, you guys know that if you watched my what I eat in a day slash my workout routine video that I made a few years ago, I talk in depth about my journey with my body and all that and um, my weight, it, uh, my weight was just different before and so I just, not, and now it doesn't matter, like in what it should have always been, it's like it doesn't matter what shape or size you are, like yeah, there's, there's so many different types of models now, but Growing up in the 2000s, I was like, I can't be a model unless you're like a double zero and like no boobs, you know, but obviously things are so different now. But I say that all to say, like I never thought modeling was in the cards for me whatsoever. So um, just seeing these and like seeing how hot I look, <laughs> it's like it's so inspiring for me. Um, and I'm just really proud of myself. And so when I look at these, it's just a reminder of like, wow, like you really, you, you became a whole ass model and got signed and also, you know, athletes put their jerseys, they frame them and they put them on the wall. So why can't a model who's part, part of our jobs are to take pictures to make art. So why not hang that art up in my apartment, period. I'm dropping this in as editing me because I, wanted, I was watching it back and I'm like, why did you just try to sugarcoat that? I worked very hard over years to look like this. And so looking at these is just a reminder of like, damn, bish. You did that, you know? Because there was a time when I was like, oh my God, I'm never gonna look like that. Like, I'm just never. And I did it, if you guys watched that video, I did it in a very healthy way, which is the only way that I recommend to do that. But it took me a long time. It's a lot of sweat and tears and huffing and puffing that went into ma the making of this person. So when I look up at these pictures, I'm like, okay. It's a remi it's just, this is a reminder, okay? Proud of myself. I'm also very cognizant of the fact that the way my jeans rest, it looks a little phallic. They're mom jeans, okay? They buckle, leave me alone. I have so many more lights on while I'm filming this video than I normally do. I normally like literally just have, it's very moody in here usually with just my candles on, but I, you figured you'll need it to see me. But if you figure it out, shout out to you. If you figure out what it is, drop a skull emoji in the comment section. That coffee table book I Playboy gave me when I went to their headquarters. It's just so many different trinkets in here that um, speak to me and are part of my journey in some way or part of my interests. And then over here, of course, I have my stacks of Sports Illustrateds because your girl said it and uh, who wouldn't put a magazine that they dreamed of being in and they're in, uh, in their apartment. Just have it very so casually sitting over here. To me, these are like my Oscars. Like, you know, you go to some people's houses casually and they have an Oscar <laughs> on their mantle. I have my Sports Illustrated copies. <laughs>
on the balcony. So this is my balcony. I'm trying not to unfortunately like show any exteriors uh, of the apartment really because people are crazy. But I still want to show you guys my balcony that I never go out on, <laughs> but I should go. It's like a very peaceful space and just a good place to get some fresh air. I just have some a little seating area out there, have a few lanterns, a candle, and it's just relaxing. And this is my bathroom, another room that gives me a lot of serotonin, which might be a weird thing to say about a bathroom, but uh, I like the vibe in here. It's dope. Also, hi me in the mirror. <laughs> didn't have a set plan I think I did have somewhat of a theme in mind and when I first started the bathroom journey I was going for uh, a night of the theater yeah so looking at it collectively you're kind of like hey but there's just little hints and Easter eggs in here, which will, you'll be like, yeah, that makes sense for the theme. So first let's talk about these pictures of me on the wall, yeah? <laughs> I need to stop getting uncomfortable about it because I feel like I get uncomfortable about it, about the ones in the living room and then when people say, this without context, I, I could, whatever. Honey, you don't need to explain yourself. Anyway, um, so the reason why I have these up here, these are pictures that people have drawn of me over the years and sent to me which is so wild it blows my mind and i am so unbelievably flattered by it and it floors me to be completely honest i, I genuinely cannot believe that um I, not, I'm not even trying to be like gross humble but like it's it's wild to think that somebody would take the time and to want to draw paint you you know so um I hate to even call it fan art, but fan art, uh, I like pictures that you guys or people who follow me over the years have made of me and they're so good and I wish that I could, this is our, these aren't even all of them, they're, I, if I had more space I wanted to put more of them up because it, they're like so good, you guys are so talented, so I, I, I was like these can't just stay in my camera roll, I need to hang them up. Um, so I put these up and People might look at this and they'd be like, oh, you just like it because there are pictures of you and that's so not the case. If anything, it's really inspiring to me and inspires me to keep going and to keep, keep pursuing my dreams and to keep achieving um, the goals that I've set for myself because 13 year old me would see this and she'd be like, oh my God, did we make it? Why are people drawing us, you know? And for me, it's just like, oh shit, like people resonate with me or, you know, saw me as somewhat of a muse at some point it's just it's honestly so wild and it makes me a little uncomfortable to talk about just because it's like uh, like <laughs> you know but like i'm just I, it, i'm if anything it's 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 like it makes my heart just so happy every time i look at it of like wow okay people people see you they recognize what you're doing and it resonates with them in some way. So keep doing what you're doing. That's what I see when I look at it. it, it it's it's like, okay, like don't give up, you know, keep going because there's a lot of stuff I wanna do in my career and I have a long way to go, but this is just shows me like how far I've come and I'm really proud of that. But so that goes with the whole, um, you know, night at the theater theme because it's like, you know, you go to a theater and you see the old pictures of the Hollywood stars on the walls and then I have uh, my, this is, I love this so much. It makes me laugh every time on my toilet. It's a sign that says, please remain seated for the entire performance. I got this from a small business on Etsy as well. I got a lot of stuff from Etsy in my apartment. And then this picture I love so much. It's always been one of my favorite photographs. And before I had my own apartment, I said one day when I have my own place, this is going somewhere. It's a picture of um, Sophia Loren and Jane Mansfield. I do not know the story behind it, but <laughs> Jane Mansfield's 
the girls are looking milky and they're like, you know, but the dress is very low cut. And this was, I think, you know, I don't, I don't want to misquote the date, but I would say like 50s, 40s, maybe like that era. So it was very scandalous to have the girls plunging out. And so um, <laughs> Sophia Loren is just staring at her boobs like, girl, I don't know if it's a judgy face or like an admiring face or she's into it. I, I love just looking at it and trying to figure out what the story was behind it. And I cannot believe it's real. I love it so much. I love this mirror so much. I had this mirror um, hung. It's actually a huge mirror. I had it hung horizontally in my old apartment that I had with roommates. And when I moved into my own place, I was like, where? I have no space to put this huge mirror, but it actually fits perfectly right here vertically in my bathroom. And not only do I love it that it looks so bold and extra for a bathroom, but I love the fact that it gives me a full length mirror so that when I get ready, I can see what my fit looks like. And I have to show you guys this. I know I probably already showed it in the B-roll, but just the story behind. This was literally the thing that made me move into this apartment. I'm not even kidding. I was like, I need that apartment for this feature. When you walk in, look what happens. You enter the bathroom. And this light turns on. You guys, when I tell you. <laughs> That changed my life. I was like, oh, I have to get this apartment because there was a, it was a studio that I was looking that was more in my price range and I saw this one I was like, oh my god. I was like, I can't afford that place, but they have the, the, the bathroom lights up when you walk into it. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm just gonna figure it out. I gotta, I gotta have that apartment. Um, so that was, I'm not even kidding. That was like the number one selling point, which is so stupid. <laughs> And I absolutely love having this art piece right here. This is basically like the playbill cover of the first musical that I ever saw, Aida, that made me fall in love with entertainment and performing and literally what made me want to host and do everything that I do was because I saw this show. I think I saw it when I was like seventh, seven, not seventh grade, seven or eight years old. And I was like, oh, sold. Yep, yep. So I put it in there. I'm telling you, just like little nuggets of me all throughout the apartment. It's like the apartment really does tell my story. Wow. Deep. And this is where I have people take their shoes off. And I show you this because it's a really big deal for me. Um, that I'm always afraid to tell people when they walk in. I'm always afraid to say like, hey, can you take your shoes off? Which I need to get over because it is my space. And I'm like, hey, can, and what I want to say is, hey, could you please remove your shoes and then go wash your hands and then you can make yourself at home. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys this because I stole this idea from my mom. I think it's so cute. Um, so for people who, if they weren't expecting to take their shoes off and they didn't have socks on or whatever, I have this little basket of clean socks. These are mine. These are not clean that I put in like two seconds ago. But I keep, usually this is filled with clean socks that people can put on and then they can take them home and just have them on while they're in my apartment in case they don't want to be barefoot because I don't like to walk around barefoot anywhere. Hypochondriac. Do not touch anything. And this is boring. It's not interesting. It's just my washer and dryer. Which, by the way, is not lost on me that that is a blessing to have in here and boy do I know it because I see the rent payment. <laughs> but like, I'm really grateful to have that. But this is, I want to make it very clear because I know how social media can instantly become a highlight reel. This is not indicative of me being rich whatsoever. I am not, okay? This, if anything, the washer and dryer is making me struggle to pay my rent. <laughs> is my favorite room or second favorite. It's a tie between my bedroom and my living room. Favorite room in the house. Um, this might look familiar if you've seen my What Happened to Clever video, but I love my bedroom so, so, so much, which is funny because I feel like I do sleep. I've been sleeping on my couch for like three weeks. Why? I have no idea. Sometimes it's just in the mood I'm in, you know? I love this room so much. And what's funny is the first, you know I said that I usually had somewhat of a theme mapped out for each room. I had no theme mapped out at first, but the first piece that I bought was that nightstand. 
I saw that and I, before there was anything in here, had no idea what color scheme I wanted to do or anything. I saw that and I was like, I am, this is going in my apartment somewhere. I am so obsessed with that nightstand. I, I don't know if anybody has seen Anastasia, that animated movie. I don't think it was Disney, but it's on Disney Plus. I was obsessed with that movie growing up and I had the jewelry box that she has that her grandmama gave her in the movie in that nightstand reminds me so much of it i got it at world market and i remember i bought that first and then i didn't know like there was like literally nothing in my apartment when i bought that like i think that was like man one of the first things i bought and um i'm mad at myself that i waited and then i wanted another one to like have nightstands on both sides but then it was sold out by then i couldn't find it anywhere and the only place i could find it it was like triple the price and i was like absolutely not because i think it's handmade but it worked out because i put that big ass tree right there so i didn't need a second nightstand but i love it in here it's very moroccan vibes i've never been to morocco but i really want to go i love the architecture in Mor morocco and marrakesh and I think it's so beautiful. So that was definitely the vibe for my bedroom. I love the color scheme in here. As you guys can see, I have this like golden yellow um, comforter and I have this teal mixed in. I have the teal pillow right there. And then I have like the magenta with the gold. I'm so obsessed with those pillows. I know I didn't say throughout this video like where everything's from, but the bedroom was like, <laughs> a struggle to put together because I had to wait so long for pieces and I moved in here in 2021 so shipment and all that was very slow at the time and understandably so but um the the this round pillow if you guys remember the video that I did on clever where they redid my room in my old place that was one of the I think they like thrift either thrifted that or bought it from somewhere I think like secondhand or something so I have that and I'm happy I kept it because it goes perfectly with my new room um, the magenta pillows I got from Neiman Marcus, which I'm like usually not that bougie with stuff, but I needed that color and I found them there and I was like sold. Um, and then the square pillows, those are from Anthropology. And then the big ones, um, they those covers came with the set and they just bought the pillowcases. And then I put my silk pillowcases, or I think they're satin, satin pillowcases that I found, which I don't know if I talked about it when I did my hair video, but satin and silk are your best friends when it comes to pillowcases because it's gonna retain the moisture in your hair. It's gonna prevent breakage, highly recommend. I got those from Kitchen and I found those in that exact color thing. I got those in the Clever video too. I was like, sold, goes to my bedroom. Um, but I love the vibe in here. And then when I found that mirror, ugh, I think I got the mirror for, from Urban Outfitters and it's definitely not supposed to be on top of a dresser because it's extremely heavy. It took two men to put it up there. And it is not mounted to the wall, which is a terrible idea living in earthquake country uh, <laughs> or state. But um, literally every time there's an earthquake, I right here and I hold it. It's not safe. Uh, <laughs> but I love that mirror because it really just opens up the room because my bedroom is pretty small. So having a mirror like that on the opposite side of the wall really opens up the space and I'm so obsessed with my wallpaper. Um, I got that from Etsy. I'm telling you, I got so much stuff from Etsy in this place, which I love because I got to support some small businesses. I think that gold thing on my nightstand was also thrifted that they got, that they did in my, um, the clever video when they decorated my room years ago. But I just love this space so much you guys i love it it's so me i love the colors of it all my bedroom is not is, is is not big by any means but it's like the perfect amount of space for me um i just found a way to maximize the space that's the thing that's why i liked watching these videos when i was looking for uh, an apartment because it gave me like ideas that i knew i couldn't afford a place that was big so i was like okay well how can you still make it your own make it homey and then maximize the space you know like with a small space i'm also so obsessed with this uh bed frame this headboard you guys it also took forever and i it i like had to save up for it for a while because i had my eye on it and i was like i need that in my room i need it i have my eye on the prize um i think it's like i think it's hand carved from india but i got it i think i get through wayfair or world market I can't remember because it's been a minute, but I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed in the guy when he put it together. He was like, you can't move out because this is going to be so hard to take apart. And it's so heavy. So he's like, good luck. You're just going to have to move physically the apartment and put it onto another place of land if you ever want to move. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I also wanted to make this um, apartment tour now because I was like, okay, going on year three and don't know how much longer I'm gonna actually be in this. I'm like, don't, God forbid I move and then I <laughs> never did an apartment tour and I have to do it all over again. The only reason why I say that is because you guys, my upstairs neighbors is enough to make me want to move out. Like it sounds like Jurassic Park. I had it written down as a video idea to do a video called Dear All Upstairs Neighbors because dear Lord, it is beyond, like beyond enough for, it's affecting my mental health. Like I need <laughs> like enough for me to be like, oh, do I need to move? Because this is really bad. And like, yeah. That's all I'll say, and I'm saying it like that because I'm like, can they hear me? But I'll say I don't, I don't care if they hear me because I've already, you know, exhausted all the options. I've, I've gone up. Y'all know me. I get one up very nicely, knocked on the door. Hey, welcome to the neighborhood. Hey, just want to let you know, like, the insulation is really bad in this building as far as the floors and ceilings are concerned. So if you could just, you know, be mindful because I do that. I'm considerate. I walk like a ballerina in here because I know I don't want my downstairs neighbors to go through what I go through, you know? They didn't care. They didn't care. And then we've had like two exchanges about it. Like I gave me the numbers so that I could talk to them about it. Like text that never got bad and I waited a while, didn't say anything. Cause I just don't want to be, I'm so not a complainer, but it was like waking me up and it's not normal foot traffic. It's like, cause most people, like they sit on their couch, they may walk to the kitchen, make something, walk back, walk to the bathroom, walk back. But most of the time you're stationary, not when I tell you that it's like Grand Central Station up there. To the window. Yes. Window. Yeah. Wall. Wall. That type of foot traffic, unnecessary. Don't understand. What is the reason, first of all? But then it also sounds like Jurassic Park. I digress, but y'all. So anyway, hopefully I get to stay here. Uh, <laughs> But like for mental health reasons, I may need to uh, skedaddle. But I hope you guys like this video. This was fun. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I was like, let me hurry up now that I just cleaned <laughs> do it because if I wait until it gets messy, I won't do it. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, next video up. I don't know if this is going up before or after it, but uh, my birthday is this weekend and I'm going to Vegas. Uh, with my friends and I think that there's some familiar faces in that vlog. I'm gonna do a birthday vlog We're gonna go to Vegas and we're gonna go see the Magic Mike show There's gonna be endless shenanigans so look out for that vlog And I love you guys and be sure to subscribe if you like what you're seeing so you can join the family and hang out more I appreciate you guys so much um, And I'll see you in my next video